Hey guys, Josh here from Brisbane Vegas Fishing with your dosage of fishing geardness. Today we are going to walk through filleting a threadfin salmon. So I've got one here from the other night that I caught. I'm going to quickly roll on that footage now. We're going to go through that. I was uh, down at the Gingerly boat ramp and quick little night out. It didn't end up being a super successful night. I mean, it can't have been too bad. I've got a fish. So. But we're going to walk through going to walk you through how easy slash hard it is to actually fill it these guys and yeah pretty much so I'll roll on that footage now and I'll see you guys on the other side of it oh, what have we got here All right. All right, guys. We have the first salmon of the night by the looks of it. Or is it a bull shark? No, she's a salmon. All right. Steady as we go. All right. Get that landing net. Oh, what a quick fight this was. All right, come back this way. Oh. <laughs> this is uh, quite difficult, guys. <laughs> Oh man. It's just lip hook. Ah. Alright, we've got him. We've got him. Jeez. Oh, Jeez Louise. Well, <laughs> talk about a, a bit of a pain. Oh, whew. Yeah, I don't know how good the camera angle is going to be on that one, guys. I apolo my apologies. Oh. That guy fell victim to a couple of prawn. Let's get him over onto the deck. Righty go. Steady on. Rough this guy up a little bit. I'm not too confident that I want to release him. So yeah, we've got a few scales on that. I think it might actually keep this guy, cook him up. We'll do it that way. Oh. How good is that though? So we're going to start just up here at the back of the head. Just come down. We flip. Come along this backbone until we hit the node just here. 
you'll notice your knife will just stop. Now what you're going to do here is you're just going to come up over it and rest your knife blade along it. Now you only want to keep just the tip of the knife blade just in the fish. Because if it's too long a knife, it's going to go right in and it's going to it's going to slice into the good part of the fillet and you're going to end up with separation through your fillets. It's just not going to come away as clean. So just come back down onto the spine. Keep running it along the backbone. Now it is quite hard to fight in the middle of this backbone just because there's no like uh, sp spines that come all the way up like say on a brim or a mangrove jack or something like that. So just going to lightly go through so we get to our next backbone. You notice your knife will stop again. So you just keep that knife blade as close to the surface as you can because you don't want to go too deep on this first cut. All right. And we keep running it all the way along till we get to the tail. Grab that tail piece there now. Now what I tend to do is, I'll then lift the meat along the back. And I'll start like surgically removing the fillet away. Now obviously the sharper the knife the better. Just so you can run it up along. Oh, we're just coming to the back of that node there. Alright, so you can see that little bit of bone there. It just extends forward and gets bigger the further into the body. Just keep running it up and along the spine, cleaning the scales off on the body of the fish as we go, resting the knife blade on it virtually as we come down. Now, you're not going to get this perfect every time. Like, I'm definitely by no means a master at this. I'm just going to lift the blade up and over that back spine now just in here is that second dorsal fin I was talking uh, second dorsal fin second bone node that I was talking about earlier so you've got one in here and you'll have two back here in the tail now my fingers are getting very cold so I'm trying not to dawdle too much but same thing again you just want to sort of feel it with the tip of the knife blade and you don't want to go too far with it because otherwise you'll uh lose a fair bit of meat. Alright, so I'm just going to come down out the back. Alright. It does get harder the bigger the fish is, so if you're going to keep a fish, one of these salmon, I definitely recommend keeping a small one just because they are a lot easier to manage, manoeuvre, fill it. At the same time though, they do release better <laughs> than a bigger one. We've actually got the fillet all ready to come off. We're just going to have to run along that rib cage. What we're going to do is, before we get that far, we'll flip it over and start on this other side. Same thing again. Find that real bony hard bit up around the head. Back at that node. Same thing again. We're just going to take our time. Not in any rush. Going to run that blade nice and gently. Just going to use it to feel our way around that nodule. There's no right or wrong way to do it. It's just downright difficult, I know. I feel that a fair few of these guys, and I still do, a pretty shonky job. Pro by any stretch of the imagination. I'm probably going to leave a little bit of meat on this. Now, sharp knife, definitely key on this. Cannot express myself enough. A sharp knife just makes this job so much easier. I sharpened my knives before tackling this job. Now what we can do is we can knock the sides off this fish. So just quickly sharpen the old knife up. Sharper the better. Let's get that full fillet. Fillet number one. Right, so we're just gonna come back out of the fish, work our knife blade up underneath it a little bit. We're gonna hold it at 45 to the table. We're just gonna crisscross or zigzag, pull on the skin as that knife blade works through. Same thing again, guys. Keep it as close to the edge of the table as possible, just so the knife isn't gonna kick up and dig too deep. 
like that one wasn't so neat. Let's go clean up our fillets now, guys. Ready for eating, basically. Right, now, you got a little bit of a separation here. What I tend to do is I just run the knife down it anyway and chop it away from the rest of the fish. And you've got a top piece and a bottom piece. And this bottom piece where the bloodline is is generally where your bones are. So, run the blade down. You should be able to feel the bones as you chop into it. Run the blade down in here. So we now have our second piece. This last piece here. Run down. And we're just going to chop out the remainder up bony bits. And just the bloodline as well. There are sometimes some bones. And it's the it's usually the fishiest part out of the fillet. And you can just haphazardly chop into it. Make a couple of fillets. Always chop in on a bit of an angle. You do whatever you want basically at this stage you can leave them as a big long fillet but coat that coat that in a bit of breadcrumb or flour batter dice it up use it in a fish curry the options are endless one two three four five six six oh. That's just one side of the fish right there. That's easily one big meal. I'll show you that separation. So all it is is held together by a couple of tendons. You can basically work it loose with your finger. I normally just separate that piece straight up anyway. Just because it makes it a little bit easier to handle the secondary section. Oh, just that tug of war with the cat trying to get the skin out of its mouth. It likes fish. Oh. Alrighty guys, look at that. All that fish. Chock full. Huh. Squared himself. That's just one fish, it's only like a metre long. You don't really need to like keep much more than one fish. Like, I mean, unless you're going on a trip somewhere and you, <laughs> and you get a fair few of them and you you're not going to go fishing for a while. I probably wouldn't really say keep more than one. Like, I'm not going to harp on or preach on about like catch and release and stuff like that because I'm by no means <laughs> um, a saint when it comes to that. But yeah, so that's basically it, guys. Um, yeah, that's basically it, guys. If you got any tips or tricks, <sighs> let me know in the comment section below how you thought I went. Uh, let me know if you think I did a sucky job and I could do way better. Like, I'm, I'm sure I probably could. I'm sure there's much better people out there for filleting that, um, that particular species of fish than I am. But anyway, guys, let me know if you like this video by giving it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you hit that little icon. It'll be up on the corner of the screen there somewhere. <clears throat> and with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. And remember, guys, that's fishing, 80-20. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, Dutch, you like to fish, don't you? That's a good girl. There you go. Oh, it tastes so good. Meanwhile, she's already tried to pull, like, half the skin out of the bag. I had to stop it like three times. Such a naughty cat.